Good morning, folks. I'd like to quickly share last night's wind map. That is a thousand mile strong convergence of differing air pressures, flooded the southwest edge with storms in Arizona, may do so again tonight up through Utah and other zones. Speaking of flooding, this is 13 months ago, and this is what the Amur River in Russia looks like now. This comes courtesy of NASA's Earth Observatory. Top story today is a star water concern, discussing the magnetic shielding of exomoons and potential habitability scenarios. They state that we are left at a familiar position, seeing few chances for benign conditions. The best, however, would be a large moon near the inside boundary of a planet's magnetic shield, but still far away enough from the planet to avoid too much tidal heating instability. The article, images, and two important papers are linked for you below. Comet Ison will follow up last night's Ison discussion with the latest photo to hit the CIOC. You can see Mars in the top right of the image there. The accompanying article is the first time I have seen pure speculation go out the window and these experts officially stating that it will not be the comet of the century, just not brightening enough. Time will tell. Eastern Canadian coastlines need to be aware that forecast models all look like this for the West Atlantic development. Could be worse though, it could be Umberto headed that way. This storm is gaining strength very quickly going to be a major event wherever it ends up we just aren't sure where that's going to be yet switching to space weather cosmic rays in both the neutrons and muons have been on a steady rise for a few days i've seen them higher but the trend is the story and i'll keep watching solar wind speed and density both within normal range soho eliminates the one anomalous reading here we're below 400 kilometers per second in plasma temperature just under 10,000 kelvin zero magnetic instability that little bump on the flare chart is only a B4. This is pitiful. We are just barely seeing any sunspots on the disk. Magnetic connections at the inner planets. We will expect to see Mars stay backside and Mercury move across the Earth facing disk. And if you can't visualize why that is, pull up the JPL orbital diagram I've got linked for you below. Folks, the earthquake watch is indeed back on due to this coronal hole. ISWA shows her power to have faded considerably, however, so without any locational foreshocking, space weather influence, or a change in its apparent power via ISWA, the watch will be capped at 70% for this coronal hole. So far, Indonesia has been rumbling the most. We've got one of the most impressive surface features the sun's ever decided to show us to close. Jump, skip, cartwheel, collapse, eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.